Hey everybody, today's lesson is on central angles and arcs, and we're working with the page that says activity on it. It's going to be our notes and our practice. So the first thing we're going to do is draw two radii, let's plural, that's plural for radius, in circle C. Remember when they call it circle C, C is the center of the circle. So I'm going to draw a radius called AC, and I'm going to draw another radius called CB. Angle ACB is what we call a central angle. A central angle is an angle with the vertex at the center of the circle. All right. And this line down here says the measure of angle ACB, so this angle right here, has a measure that's equal to the measure of arc AB. So the central angle is equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. When we talk about measures of arcs, we're not talking about inches or uh, centimeters, we're talking about degrees. So we're looking at arc AB saying how many degrees out of the entire 360 degrees does arc AB represent? So that's what we're looking at. Now arc AB right here is what we call a minor arc. A minor arc is one that has a measure less than 180. So that's a minor arc. On the other side of it, we have what's called a major arc. Now to name a major arc, I've got to put an extra letter in here. Because if I just call it arc AB, you don't know if I'm going the long way or the short way. But if I call it arc ADB, you know exactly which way I want you to go. I want you to go from A to D, then to B. So that's a major arc because its measure is greater than 180 degrees. So those are two important terms. The other one that I'm sure you know is what do we call an arc that's equal to 180 degrees? All right there. Well, we know that if it's equal to 180 degrees, it is a semicircle. I don't know why I say semicircle, it's semicircle, however you pronounce it, it's half a circle. So its arc is equal to 180 degrees. So that's always good to know. Look for your diameters and know that each side of that is 180. So let's practice with these, this rule that we just learned. Find the measures of the following in circle P. All right, so they're asking us some questions here about the circle. This is just a personal preference of mine, but I'm gonna go through the circle and label everything first, and then I can fill in the blank for the questions. So I'm gonna start out, I know that this angle is 136, and because the vertex is at the center, this arc must be 136. Then if you look, you'll see that this line right here, that segment, is a diameter. Diameter splits the circle into 180 degrees. So 180 minus 36, 136, sorry, is 44. So this angle is 44, which means the arc it intercepts is 44 degrees. Then if you notice this angle and this angle, you go, hey, those are vertical angles. So if this angle is 44, this one must be 44, and this arc must also be 44. So look for vertical angles and linear pairs to help you fill these in. Now I notice that this one right here is 90, which means arc IK must be 90, and I've already got a piece of it that's 62. So if I do 90 minus 62, I can find out that IJ is 28 degrees. Together, those add up to the 90. And this last one, all I have to do, there's several ways to think of it. I could add up everything and subtract it from 360, or I could use my diameter and say this plus 90 plus this has to equal 180. So whichever way you wanna do that, we find out that arc IN is 46 degrees. So now I can come over here and fill in the blanks. Arc KL 
And when you see the M in front of it, that's just asking you for the measure. That's how many degrees. So don't panic when you see the M. The measure of KL, I've got that, it's 44. The measure of arc JL. Now to get JL, I've got to go from J to L. Well, that's these two arcs put together. So we're going to do a little arc addition and add 62 plus 44 and get 106 degrees. Now there's angle NPK. So you've got to find that in your picture. There's so much going on here. I'm going to highlight NPK. There it is. So I want the measure of that angle. So that's a little angle addition, 46 plus 90. That'll give me 136 degrees. Arc HJ from H to J. Now notice they just use the two letters HJ, so they don't want me to go the long way around. They want the minor arc, the short, the short way from H to J. So that's just going to be me adding up 44 plus 46 plus 28 to get from H to J, so 118 degrees. Angle LPK, LPK, 44 degrees. Angle HPI, so HPI. So I'm going to add up 44 and 46. Find out that that's 90. Now here's an example of a major arc. They want us to get find the measure of arc LHJ. So when they give you the three letters, they're telling you which direction to go. They want us to go start at L, go through H, and end up at J. So when you see three letters, just know that they want you to take the long way. So there's a couple of different ways I can find this. I can add up all the arcs that take me from L through H to J, or I could take the two that they didn't ask and subtract it from 360. So I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to add 44 to 62 and then subtract that from 360 and get 254. The other way is, of course, just add up everything I just highlighted in pink. 136 plus 44 plus 46 plus 28. And there we go. All right, let's take a look at the next one. I can help you get this one set up and then you can answer your questions. So they gave us a couple of angles. Notice they all intersect at the center. So P is the center. We've got a bunch of central angles to work with. So if arc YW is 32 degrees, this angle must be 32 degrees. And then I'm looking at my vertical angles, and this must be 32, and this must be 32. Well, that was easy. Take a look at your 52 degrees. Central angle, same as the arc, that's a 52. And you do the same with your vertical angles. Now, how do I find this missing angle? There's a couple of different ways to think of it. Uh, if you want to, you can look at a diameter. Remember, the diameter cuts it into 180 degrees on each side. So I could do 180 minus the 32 plus 52. And that'll give me 96. And because they're vertical angles, this side is also 96. And you can double check and make sure those all add up to 360. And then answer the questions. All right, go to the back page. This top question looks, wow, there's a lot going on there. So let's see if we can figure out what they want us to do. NE is perpendicular to RA. Oops, so I can highlight those. Okay, I can do better. There we go. NE is perpendicular to RA. So we know that these are both 90 degrees because perpendicular lines make right angles. And E is the center. So this arc must be 90 and this arc must be 90. Now they told us that arc RU, arc UT, and arc TA, those are all equal in measure. So I can put little marks on there. But I know that from R to A is a semicircle. So 180 divided by 3, each of those arcs must be 60 degrees. And from there, you can answer the rest of the questions. 
All right, number eight threw in a little bit of algebra. Not too hard though. I always like to label my picture because looking at this doesn't mean a whole lot until I put it in the picture. So if arc AE is 5x plus 6, ED is 4x minus 24, DC is 3x minus 8, and BA is 2x plus 20. All right, we're in good shape, except they didn't tell me anything about arc BC. But I noticed that those angles are congruent. So guess what I know about arc BC? It's congruent to arc DC. So I can fill that in. And now all I have to do is add up all my arcs, and they should all equal 360. So I'll get you started on that one. This last one is a circle graph. So they want us to find the measure of each central angle. So what they've done is they've given us percentages. Since we know that a circle is 360 degrees, for sleep, I'm just going to take 32% of 360 and get my degrees for that one. So that one's 96 degrees. For work, I'm going to take 25% times 360. So just remember your percentages. Move your decimal place twice because it's over 100. Just a little reminder. Um, entertainment was 16%, so 16.16 .16 times 360 gave me 57.6 degrees. Food is 8%. Just a reminder, don't put 0 0.8, it's 0 0.08 times 360. And that'll give you 28.8 degrees. And I can let you finish those. The answer key to this page is posted online if you wanted to check your work on those. And this page is the homework page. You're not actually going to submit this, but you'll want to work on it and get your answers and then go and do your exit ticket in Canvas. So that's what you'll submit to show that you completed this assignment. So I hope that answers questions. Let us know if you have any problems and have a great day. Bye-bye.